Originally released in 2004 on PS2, Xbox, and GameCube, Beyond Good and Evil was a commercial failure but time-tested fan favorite. It's also very, very French. Years later, Beyond Good and Evil finally has a second chance to shine, this time in HD via PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade. Set on the Earth-like planet Hillis, the story follows photojournalist and caretaker of orphans, Jade. She's joined by her uncle Paige, a giant talking pigman and engineer. The two are pulled into a tale of underdog resistance against an alien threat known as the Doms. It's no tale of two cities, but it's a fun story that'll keep you hooked to the end. The gameplay blends genres as varied as photography and racing, with combat, Zelda-like dungeons, stealth missions, and pure exploration. Okay, we'll go together. But I'm sticking to you like bees on honey, whether you like it or not. Arguably Beyond Good and Evil's most memorable quality was its art direction. Seven years on, the game really does hold up well. While there are some noticeably sharper textures, the game's world actually benefits from clean, bold shapes and exaggerated character facial features. Everything looks bubbly and cartoony. Jade's moves, particularly her stealthy wall shimmy and backflipping combat skills, still flow beautifully. The bump up to a buttery 60 frames per second frame rate really improves the sense of speed. The game no longer causes the engine to stutter when things get hectic either. Game design's come a long way since 2004 though, and the world still feels very static. Hey, it's an old game, you gotta cut it a little slack, right? Beyond Good and Evil was the evolutionary precursor to a lot of different gameplay concepts. For example, Jade can take on multiple enemies at once, which might not sound like a big deal. However, the way she transitions from enemy to enemy is still very slick. It just works. You can see how this concept was adopted by Ubisoft's own Assassin's Creed. Jade's context-sensitive moves and auto-climb also set the bar for many games to come. The game carefully blends platforming with timing-based puzzles, obstacles, stealth missions, and plenty of clever lateral thinking challenges. Then there's the photography element. Early in the game, you're asked to keep an eye out for animals to catalog. You're rewarded with pearls and cash for thorough exploration, and you really do need all you can get. If you don't collect enough pearls and upgrades, you can't progress to the next area. This is a bit of a throwback to old school game design. It works though, and the game's not short on side quests, parlor games, and other distractions. Beyond Good and Evil is not without some problems, though. Despite improvements to the camera, you're still constantly rotating that sucker. Having to nurse the camera when chasing down a giant zigzagging alien in your hovercraft is definitely frustrating. The radial menu, one of the first of its kind, is also convoluted, making item use more of a hassle than it should be. Some of the puzzle design can be a little obtuse, too. While the game does hint at your next objective, sometimes you're looking for very discreet items to trigger or spaces to crawl through. Beyond Good and Evil is a game that tries its hand at just about everything, but never quite achieves perfection in any one area because of this. If you're already a fan, think of this HD re-release as the perfect refresher course before Ubisoft takes the wraps off the sequel. If you've never played Beyond Good and Evil before now though, you'll probably still wonder what all the fuss is about. Sure there are some clunky design choices, it's a 7 year old game. But hey, there's no denying that Jade's conspiratorial adventure still sparkles with creativity. For all things good and evil, head to IGN.com.